Mark, what are you cooking in the Mastercraft kitchen today? I'm going to come over, actually. Well, we've got a treat for you today. We're doing two recipes. I'm going to do Spanish eggs, and uh, Sally is going to do some gluten-free uh, mm. freons. Nice that you're joining us, Sally. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. So it's not you me? that's gluten-free. No. It's your husband, isn't it? Yeah, my husband is. Right, so you're going to know how to make these meals. What are you going to make for Mother's Day? We're going to make freons today, berry freons, and they're gorgeous little sweet cakes. They've got very little flour in them. A little bit of almond, and they're perfect for the children to make. Oh, that Mum. is perfect Mother's yeah. Day treat. And you can see the ingredients on screen there. We've got them at thecafe.co.nz. So this is going to be great for Mum's Day. Mm. Plenty of ideas here at the cafe. So Mark, you can get started, and Sally, you can get yeah. going when you when you're ready. What are you yes. doing, Mark? <laughs> right. So we're going to start the uh, Spanish eggs now. So the great thing about this recipe is we're going to cook it all in one pan. It's really simple for all those husbands out there cooking uh, the breakfast for your wives. <laughs> this is what I'll be doing on Sunday morning. <laughs> That's right. So we're going to start off, just a little bit of olive oil and just some red onion. So a little bit of red onion and we just want to start cooking that down. OK, now I'm going to ask another silly question because I'm good at that here in the Mastercraft kitchen. Um, what is the difference between red onion, and don't say the colour, and white onion? <laughs> Oh. <laughs> uh, first of all, the colour. Uh, no, so uh, a white onion, you know, you can put in sort of uh, soups and sauces and stuff if you want, and you, you know, you get a nice sweetness from that. You don't want to eat it raw. Okay. Uh, a, a red onion is a Spanish onion, so it's a little bit sort of sweeter and great in salads. So you can you can eat the uh, red onion raw, mm. and then a shallot yes. is just like a posh onion. Pretty much. It's nice. Okay, sweeter, cool. If you wanted to know. It's a good explanation, Mark. Thank you very much. Right, I'm going to put some chilli in there. Yep. And a little bit of garlic as well. And just sweat all that down for a couple of minutes. And then I'm going to add the chorizo sausage, and that's going to give us a nice kick to these eggs. Is it nice watching somebody it's else fabulous. do the cooking? I love it. <laughs> <laughs> don't worry, your turn is coming up, don't you worry. Um, so this is the perfect treat for Mother's Day. We've got a nice breakfast, and then we're going to top it off with a nice Mother's Day dessert. Uh, so stand by. We're going to come back, see what Sally's up to, and finish off Mark's dish here in the kitchen. Over to you, Mel. Mike, you're going gluten-free today. Well, yeah, we are. In aid of Mother's Day and in aid of Sally being here today, who's got a brand new book out. It's been out for a couple of months, and it's called Goodbye Gluten. So today it's all about having a gluten-free recipe. So they're working together for the perfect Mother's yeah. Day treat. <laughs> uh, Mark, whereabouts are you up to with your eggs? All right, so we sweat down the garlics, the chilli, uh, the onions, and we put that chorizo in there. And then I've just put a can of um, chopped tomatoes in there. And I'm just slowly cooking that to get all the flavour in there. And I'm just going to reduce it, keep cooking it. So we'd reduce it down a little bit. Uh, and another two, three minutes, we're going to put the eggs in and just slow cook the eggs in the sauce. And it's going to be fantastic. Nice work. Well, we'll leave you with that. And Sally, we'll get underway right, right now with what you are about to do. Right. What did you call these before? These are freons. Freons. Uh, yeah. Lovely little cakes. Now, they're very easy to make. I'm just going to start whisking. What have we got in there? Six egg whites. Right. So you don't need to whisk them until they're stiff or anything. It's just until they go frothy and amalgamated. Okay, nice. Like that. Now in here mm. I've got all the dry ingredients mixed together. I've got the ground almonds, the icing sugar, the gluten-free flour mix mm -hmm. and some, a little bit of baking powder. So that all gets tipped in, so you okay. can see how easy yeah. this is. We like easy. So the children can do this. Perfect for And Mum's then melted day. butter. Nice. And then just gets whisked again, and that's it. Wow, OK. It really is very easy. Well, while you're whisking that up, mm -hmm. uh, don't worry, we're going to put the ingredients at thecafe.co.nz. Uh, while you're whisking that up, let's talk about your book, Goodbye yes. Gluten, because this book here obviously has been very popular because you're up to your second run. I am, I'm delighted to say. And what inspired yes. you to do it? Well, my husband found out 11 years ago that he had celiac disease, and... I have always loved cooking, and I had all these recipes, and I thought, I really want to share them with people. So That's great. That's love, of, isn't it? Yeah. 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 <laughs> I don't think I would have done that for the wife. <laughs> <laughs> so you, so you've got this book out now, and yes. obviously as you know, more and more people discover that they are gluten-free or yes. celiac, and then this is the perfect... I've got the same problem. I've got people coming oh, around really? tonight, really? Um, and one of them's gluten-free, and I'm like, ah! Book. Cool. Well, I'll tell you what, we are going to give some away. You're in luck, ladies and gentlemen, because if you are watching right now, we've got three of these books to give away, and all we want you to do is upload a photo of you 
giving your mum your Mother's Day treat, whether it's breakfast in bed, whatever, you just mm. upload that to the cafe.co.nz and you might win for yourself one of Sally's books. So do that, don't muck around, and this fantastic book could be coming to you. And for those that are gluten free, I'll tell you what, make sure you get out and grab it because it's certainly going to make life easier. And if all the recipes are as easy as this, <laughs> anyone can do it. What else have we got in there, by the way? Oh, look, I've got it's divided into six chapters. Yeah. First one is baking because there's such a huge interest in baking at the moment. Mm -hmm. uh, meals, which includes breakfast, lunch, and dinner ideas, uh, bites. Finger food, nice. food to have with drinks, a section on Christmas and oh, wow. desserts and children, chapter on children. And what was interesting this is messy. before... This is really messy. <laughs> it's all right. <laughs> you can see Just blame it's me. not that yeah. messy. It's been worse <laughs> in this kitchen. Um, an interesting thing, what we were talking about before, is you've actually got a recipe for gluten-free flour. Yes. So you've got a standardised uh, recipe yeah. because if you go and buy it off the shelf, then they're all different. They're all so different. sometimes it won't work. Yeah, so That's I right. decided the way to get around that problem was to actually make my own gluten-free flour mix. Nice I've got work. the recipe in the book. And that's what we've got in here. Right, right yeah. so we've got okay. the we've got the tomato sauce here, just quickly. Yeah. So it's reduced down, so we're yep. getting a nice sort of it's thickening up nicely. Yeah. And now we're just going to carefully crack the eggs in, and then we're just going to slow cook it until the eggs are cooked. So it's all in one pan, and we're just going to add those cherry tomatoes in as well. Right. So you leave the eggs whole. You don't stir it up. No, no. Leave the right. eggs whole. Cool. And just quickly, while we're mm -hmm. wrapping up here in the kitchen, because we'll come back to see the finished yeah. product in just a minute, we're just putting some berries on the top. We're just putting the berries on top nice. and then into the oven for 20 minutes. Easy as that. Thank you, Sally. Thank you, Better. Mark. So we are pretty much ready to plate up. See the eggs now? So it's nice and thick, full of flavour. The eggs are oh. cooked. Finish it off. A little bit of coriander and some spring onion as well. So very last minute. And we're just going to serve that with some crusty bread, which we've just toasted on the griddle pan. Look at that. Gorgeous. There you go. That is all mm. done. My job's done. Over Fabulous. to you, Sally. So you've cooked right. the uh, freons. Freons have been in the oven for about 20 minutes, and they've been just sitting here for a couple of minutes, and I'm just going... They're still warm, so that's... Really <laughs> <good>. <laughs> and they, and they smell warm. absolutely yeah. fantastic. There we go. I'm getting excited now. <laughs> and just a little bit of icing sugar, just to finish them off over the top. Oh, that is uh, beautiful. Yeah, yeah. it's mum's treat. Oh. Yeah, and I think if you're a mum mm. on Mother's Day and you get this, you'll be, you'll feel very special. I'm a mum. And you've even got a cup of tea. <laughs> yeah. And a cup of tea. Yeah. And Michelle's a mum too, so bring it yeah. all over yeah. here, guys. Yeah. Well, come and join us here. It's Friday. This is what happens with everyone around the bench. We wish you the best for the weekend. And um, by the way, happy Mother's Day to my mother. While well, I've got the chance. <laughs> <laughs> is that it? Is that what we're doing? Happy Mother's Day to my mum too. Well, happy mum. I'm so tired. <laughs> Thank you, everybody. Have a good yeah. weekend. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah, that's good.